we we have uh, HTML pages and the web pages where we have different navigation panes and tabs. Like uh, if you will click on one of the navigation pane or navigation tab, it will take you to the different page or different uh, sets of uh, display. Okay, but what what is happening in tab in Looker? Like this functionality is not at all provided by Looker as of now. It, we are working on a single dashboard, okay, one dashboard, and we want to move from one dashboard to the another dashboard. Like uh, in most of the time, we came up with this requirement. Like we have a summarized dashboard, and someone or end user want to go for a detailed dashboard. Then in this case, uh, this this functionality is not at all provided by Looker as of now. So what we did here. With the use of different HTML tags and to incorporate them in LookML, we we are able to achieve like this functionality. Okay, so we can go from one dashboard to the another dashboard. So this is the first functionality like with which we have taken here. The another one is about the filter. All the dashboards, most of the dashboards in in any of the BI tool have filter. That can be governed by end users to restrict the data or the data which they want to see specifically. Now, when we are going from one dashboard to another dashboard, the filters are not uh, working as per the expectation. So, using and uh, enhancing the functionality and using the liquid parameters and liquid filters in LookML, we are able to achieve that as well. So, so this is all about like what what we are going to demo today. So, let me quickly. Go to a looker dashboard. So I have created this just for a demo purpose or for the POC purpose. I have created this dashboard. This is my summarized dashboard, and the data is from some dummy data which we have for for category wise uh, sales and profit for, for an organization. So I have two filters here: state and category. And my first dashboard is summarized dashboard. Which is giving me order count and total quantity with the category by sales in a donut chart as well as year to year profit. Now suppose I am selecting here any of the state, Arizona state, my state, and I am going to select for any one furniture category. Okay, so th this this is my first dashboard and filters are working fine the order counts and total quantities are changed as per my filter list. now now i have a requirement so i am an end user and I, I want to see the more detailed version of this dashboard it won't look good and it won't uh, be a correct bi tool if i have to go again and open a new detailed dashboard so what we did here we have incorporated this new tab summarize and the details of the if you are able to see here so when I'm going to click on this detailed dashboard, this is going to open a new dashboard that is my detailed dashboard, which has the functionality and which has the detail, like a detailed report of the same Arizona as well as for the furniture category. Coming to here, like uh, this is the functionality, uh, first functionality of what we have taken here. Okay, suppose we, we have to do the vice versa as well. Uh, suppose at, at any point of the time they want to remove, any end user want to remove the category here. Okay, and now they want to see the summarized report. Okay, so this is my the summarized dashboard. So this is what we have achieved using a, a, a tab here, a tile we have incorporated. Which have the different icons. It is based on our requirement. As of now, we are displaying only summarizing the detailed dashboard. We, if required, we can add the, as many dashboards as uh, like what we want. So uh, I have a question, Shubham. The summary and detail are they two distinct dashboards? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Shashi. Th those are two different dashboards. So let me quickly show you. This is my summarized dashboard. In if I want to open the detailed dashboard in a new tab, I can do that as well. So this is my detailed dashboard. So you can see here this. Yes. Yeah. Is it just you know you're putting the links for summarized and detailed in uh, in one of those uh, placehold placeholders, and the other? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, please. And is uh, let's say in summarized. Can you go to your summarized? 
yeah, if I have to see the details of category voice sales, can I just not drill into one of those category, let's say phone, it makes up 20.9 percentage. Uh, how different is the detail versus, uh, rather than just drilling into the same? Yeah, so, so the, the thing is drilling down is something like which we are going for for this category, okay? for this major value, so for sales of some of phone. If we, I click here, uh, yeah, I have that option in local. I can, I can go to a drilled version. But what we are trying to achieve here, we are going from one dashboard to the another dashboard. That is a completely different thing. So the detailed one is, is a dashboard. Uh, so if we, we, if we just expand our uh, like requirement part, it's not only the detailed one. Sometimes if we need any other dashboard, which is not associated with this data, that also we can do. Correct, right. This is as good as creating a different dashboard and you know, you're passing the parameter values to the new dashboard. Yeah, and regarding the implementation thing, of, uh, the, the first thing which, which you asked, uh, this is not just uh, we have uh, incorporated the link in this style. Uh, once I will go towards the implementation part, we will can discuss it in a bit better way. So we have this look element, which is responsible for the dashboard, for both the dashboard. So what we did, we have created a dummy dimension here for, for complete HTML world. And this, this dimension is helping me to create a single value type which have summarized as well as the detailed option for what we are seeing here. This is nothing but a single value tile in Looker. And, and we, we have incorporated the links beyond, uh, beside this uh, values, like this, beside this summarize and the detailed top. Both the things are there. And also to keep filter uniform, we are using the liquid filters here, which is helping us, yeah. So which is helping us to pass the filter from uh, one uh, dashboard to the another one. Uh, yeah, so, so as of now, uh, we have only two dashboards which we are displaying that the summarized and the detailed one. But yeah, if, if we have the requirement and we have, uh, suppose, five or 10 uh, dashboards, then we can increase this uh, dummy dimension thing and uh, make a single value tell and then use it accordingly.